Morning. This is Arnie Waters here in Boston. Hope you had a great weekend. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? As we indicated to you last week, both in France and in Greece, we see a rejection of the austerity approach. We see a rejection of the bailout approach. Uh, these are not surprising things to any of us because it is quite clear that austerity is not going to produce a positive result in the long term. There will also be, caused directly by this austerity, severe political difficulties. It is therefore not surprising that the euro has sold off abruptly. We remind you that we expect the euro to be trading at parity to the dollar sometime in the next two or three years. Uh, the euro's fall is structural and inherently clear to any reasonable observer. Gold trading around 1637 this morning. We expect gold to trade pretty much in a 1625 to 1650 range, absent any large international difficulties. By that I mean an Israeli attack on Iran or something like that. One of the things that's become very clear in our discussion of China is, the, is that sensible people are starting to wonder whether or not the Chinese government's compact with the Chinese people has been broken. In other words, that there is going to be some form of control of corruption, uh, that the quality of life for the average Chinese is going to improve, and that the, that trade-off is why people are willing to put up with a Stalinist-type dictatorship uh, political control. And one can only wonder what will happen in the near future as more and more Chinese begin to perceive that the government uh, really has become uh, a rule of the few. Uh, and the reason for that is there's too much money at stake and there's never been an interest in uh, expanding the... Uh, I'm saying this in a long-winded way to say that there's, there's no difference between a Chinese dictatorship and a Haitian dictatorship. The dictator and his friends or her friends get all the goodies and everybody else is left uh, scrambling for table scraps. The uh, development in effect of a hereditary aristocracy based upon uh, proximity to Mao uh, is now well entrenched and therefore another reason people should be very wary of investing in China both in the short term and the long term. We're not going to bore you with a recitation of our concerns about Chinese internal political strife or a recitation of what's going on in this province or that province. But the facts are that the Chinese situation will only become more and more unstable and therefore more and more dangerous for investment. This is Arnie Waters. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Have a great day. Thanks.